Hey guys, today is Thursday, December the 29th, 2022. This video probably won't get out until Friday uh, the 30th, but regardless, this video will be regarding the Shanquilla Robinson case. And specifically, I released a video um, around midnight last night where I discussed Gerardo Zuniga, who is the investigative reporter who works for Metropolimex in um, Baja, California, Sur. And he did his first YouTube live and he shared five photographs. Now, there's been mixed opinions regarding that, but I wanted to share a little bit more information. Um, specifically in regards to these photographs. Now, the photographs that are on the website advertising for Villa Linda 32, which is the Villa that the Cabo Six were in are professional photographs. That is one of the requirements for being able to list those photographs on the website. The owner um, must have professional photographs taken of their property. Now, what that should tell us is the pictures on the website are going to be A plus quality. The pictures coming from the, uh, I assume, camera phone of whoever was inside of Villa Linda 32 um, when the doctor was with Shanquilla in the living room are going to be very different quality, okay? That's one thing you have to keep in perspective. It's not going to be uh, that crisp, clean, uh, vivid photograph that we see on the website. It's going to be significantly different. Um, I wanted to point that out. And I made the mistake in my video of saying that Gerardo Zuniga was inside of Villa Linda. He was not. He obtained those photographs. So I wanted to clarify and specify that as well. And I appreciate those in the comments that did correct me. Um, and I want to play back uh, a little bit of the lead attorney's speech on his soapbox where he talks about Gerardo Zuniga because I just think it's that important for us to really listen to what he's saying um, because he does it so well and I'm going to go ahead and cut to that now. Mexico, guys, is such a dangerous place. You know, and I don't even blame some of you for not knowing, there have been so many people that have stood up for it out of and backed him up and understand what they're doing on ABC and NBC and CBS is completely different than what head is doing. You have no idea. Mexico is like always in the top two or three in the world of journalists like head out getting murdered. Murder. There ain't no money in it. How much, how much would I have to pay you to do what Gerardo does for five years? To go down to Mexico and write story after story about government corruption, story after story about the cartels. Think, how much would I have to pay you to do it? Whatever the number is in your head, I guarantee you, Gerardo makes a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of that. And it's in, it's in fucking pesos, which is worse. Y'all have seen some of Gerardo on, on, on YouTube when he's trying to tell people what's going on. Do you see him? Shout out to Tony the Closer. Do you see him in Cuban links? Do you see him in Versace shirts? What does he look like? What have you seen him in? Doing these interviews up until very recently, and I want to talk to you about just a little about this, and I'm going to bring him up. My man is in the back, so I'm going to try not to make him wait too long. I know y'all want to talk to him, but I need you to listen for a second. Shout out to Down the Rabbit Hole. He did a he did a, a video a, a interview with her. She was like, "Well, hey, you know, if people want to support you, you know, can can you, no no I, don't, I ain't got nothing. Just follow me, read my articles." 
Don't okay. cash out. No, no, I just, you know, just follow my page. Read, read what I'm trying to do. I've been doing it my entire adult career. Six years as an investigative journalist, 27 years in the media. I had them on my show. I asked them, I said, well, is there anything, any place, anybody, if they want to help you out, send you something, is there anything that they can? No, just follow me. I talked to him after my interview. I was like, man, you need to cash out. I have lived in Mexico. You need to fucking cash out. You need something. And I played his interview, and you guys supported him so much. And I thank you for that. I don't ever ask you for cash outs or PayPals or Super Chats. Whatever y'all send, y'all just send them from the heart. Um... But I did ask you that day to support him. And so many of y'all did. I'm so grateful. Why? Well, let's go back to Mexico, right? We got a body. Y'all saw the video. There's no use in talking about it. How they murdered Shanquella. Before Head Auto got into it, what, what was anybody doing about it? No? No sé? No, no sé qué pasó, no. Ni modo, pues. She just drunk too much alcohol. She got drunk. Alcohol poisoning. He does his investigation, writes the article, boom, it goes viral, it explodes. He continues working, continues talking to people, talking to his contacts. Everybody's praising him. CNN, CBS, ABC, everybody is using his article. All of the YouTubers, we're not really journalists, at least I'm not, I'm an attorney, I ain't retired at that. But the real journalists, everybody was looking to him. Everybody in Mexico, everybody in the United States, everybody in Canada, everybody wanted to talk to Gerardo for the same work that he's been doing for years. He writes another article. Now he's a fraud. <laughs> now some people call him a fraud for the second article. The first article where he exposed all this, no, 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 he was good. The second article, now he's a fraud. Why? Because he said Dion Genera, however you pronounce her fucking name, it's not like it deserves any respect on it. He said that Dion Genese was arrested. Now, did he give any proof of that? I didn't see any proof. No one really saw any proof. No one saw a mugshot. Guys, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. You know, I didn't shout out to all y'all. None of y'all value proof more than me. None of you value proof more than a 20-year attorney. Who values proof more than that? That's my whole job. Proof. I'm a lawyer. I love proof, so I get it. But let's take a step back because I want to be real with you guys too. Like there's this, this theoretical stuff and then there's real stuff. There's a lot of proof in these trials, these juries. Some of the proof doesn't come in for so many reasons. It's real proof. Proof is excellent when you can get it, but... Just because you don't have proof doesn't mean that something didn't happen. Certainly not to the extent where you're being called a fraud, especially for doing a job that no one else will do and that no one else is doing, by the way. You know, shout out to everybody in Cali. I don't know if there's anybody in the Cali in the chat. I'm on the East Coast. Man, shout out to the brothers in Cali. Y'all were getting beat the fuck up. 70s, 80s, 90s. Those cops were whooping y'all ass. Anybody believe y'all? There was no proof. Oh, but then one day, they, 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 they haul this man up in front of a goddamn microphone in a park, and you can't even recognize it's a human. He's been beat up so bad, and they're holding him up, and they're like, say something, say something. <laughs> Can we all just get along? <laughs> oh, now there's proof. After decades, now it's for real. So many brothers and fathers and uncles hospitalized for decades. Now there's proof. Okay, now it's, now it's real. Shout out to the people in Chicago. Black men in Chicago. 6,000 of y'all being interrogated in an in a off-the-books warehouse. This is in the United States. No access to an attorney. Interrogating 6,000 black people in the off the books interrogation warehouse. Where's the proof? Oh, no one say anything about it. Y'all remember we had them damn iPhones? And we were like, it's so weird. I was just talking about this and now I get an ad for it. That's weird, right? It's not listening. 
The government isn't listening. The, the news that I was sending the Foot Locker chick, no one's looking at the news. I mean, it's just her. It's, it's her and I. The fucking white boy has to live his whole life in a damn Russian airport. Because he told y'all something that y'all, y'all knew, but you didn't have any proof. And actually, you know, shout out to Obama. It's one of the things that I, I really do dislike about Obama, man. To me, Snowden is a national hero. Especially as an attorney. You guys might not know this. Y'all just know, you know, everybody's looking at your news. The NSA is laughing at your news, right? Fine. What, but to lawyers, though, it was so much deeper because we found out that the United States had secret courts. We found out they had secret courts. We found out they had secret judges. We found out that the United States of America has secret prosecutors. Secret court orders where if you get one, you are not allowed to disclose the fact that you got a secret court order from a secret judge in a secret court. Guys, there's so much stuff where, man, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But there's going to be proof, but maybe it'll come in a fucking year. Maybe it'll come in two years. Maybe. Who knows? What, what year was Rodney King? Jesus Christ. You don't think the government knew about that? Who do the police work for? Oh, the government. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not speaking specifically on whether Deanne Janae was arrested or not. I'm trying to give you guys a, a fucking context. I know how messed up this video is. We've all seen it. I understand the anger. I understand the rage. I've had people come on my channel and say that all six, the Cabo six, all six should get the death penalty. <laughs> the death penalty. They want them to burn. All six. Fine. What's the problem? In that rage, it gets extended. So now people, they want the doctor. <laughs> the, the doctor, the nurse lady, they, they want her to burn. Got extended again. The two cops that were in there want the cops to burn. I saw in a comment on one of my videos that someone said that they wanted the parents of Cabo 6 to burn. And then someone came up on my panel the day before yesterday and said the same thing, that the parents of the Cabo 6 should burn. Fine. So what do we got now? Anybody know what we got now? Oh, 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 head out of them. Head out of them. We want head out of to burn too. Fucking put head out of them in it. Why? Because he said something and there wasn't any proof. Oh, well, fuck it then. Let him burn. That's a mistake, guys. I get it. I get it. I'm telling you, though, that that's a mistake. We need to step back. Guys, if you want to accept his first article that everybody was praising, but then the second article comes out and you say, eh, I don't see any proof, I'm going to wait on it. You can do that. You can say, mm, I'm going to wait on it. Why? Because I don't know. You guys might not know this, but Herago did this for a living. He's still working on the case. You think the FBI is going to go down to fucking Cabo and talk to the prosecutor and come back and tell you what's going on? Do you think the, do you think the FBI is going to tell you anything on the front end? Are they going to give you any information? They're not. That's not their job. There's only one person who has the job of an investigative reporter who has the contacts in the government, in Los Cabos. And that's head out of all. The same, the same man that a few of you want to burn now while well, he's still working on the case. That's a mistake. So now, like we know, Gerardo Zuniga did the first article. Great. Everybody was like, wow. It brought awareness. Second article, when he reported about Dejanay. Jackson being detained because we didn't have anything like a mugshot or any other information. People really did turn on him. But what I want to ask those people is have you heard from Dejanay Jackson to know that she's not been detained? Has anyone heard from Dejanay Jackson? Anybody? I've not heard one single peep out of her. 
So I'm just saying, we don't know that she hasn't been detained. We don't know that. We have no idea one way or the other. I really believe that Gerardo Zuniga's heart is in the right place. He has a dangerous, dangerous job. Um, there are journalists that get murdered over there every single day. And he does cover a lot of corruption, um, a lot of the cartel business. And I just don't understand. I've tried looking at it um, because I try to stick with just the facts. What would be his angle? Um, he didn't start off saying, oh, send me money, send me money. That wasn't his angle at all. At all. So I just want you guys to think about that. Um, just because we don't have the proof of Dejanay Jackson being detained right now, doesn't mean you have to just automatically say he's a fraud. That doesn't make him a fraud. Um, and if you have proof that she hasn't been detained, I'm all ears on it. Send it to me. Because as far as I know, nobody's heard from her. And I'm not talking about some fake Twitter account, some fake Instagram, TikTok, none of that. I'm talking about an actual, have they seen her somewhere? Are they friends with her? Have they spoke to her? We've not heard any of that. Um, and I will say this, Gerardo Zuniga is doing his job as an investigative journalist. His job is not to... Um, hold our hand or coddle us. That's not his job. His job is to try to get information out there um, and investigate these cases. So him not reaching out to this person or that person, even though we might find that to be eh, kind of borderline, that's not his job. And you have to understand he's in Mexico with very little English capabilities. He's provided us with the police report that every news station is reporting on. So when people say that he's um, lied, I, I just, it has to come back to the Dejanay Jackson um, information because he's not lied about anything else. And the only reason people are saying he's lying is because we don't have proof and we love proof. We love it. And I don't typically put anything out without proof. Like, I got to have it. Because I take my channel very seriously and I am a responsible channel holder. So, I just wanted to maybe show some of us a different side or a different way to look at this. Instead of him being a fraud or a liar, maybe just give him a chance. Um, doesn't mean you have to champion for him. And it certainly doesn't mean that because I shared his live that I am uh, doing anything other than showing you where my information came from. Uh, I'm not out here cheering for Gerardo Zuniga. Um, I support what he does in his job as an investigative journalist because it's not easy. But um, as far as me cheerleading and Telling you guys, oh, go subscribe and like it. No, I don't do that. That's not me. So I just wanted to give you a different perspective from the lead attorney and just kind of make you think just a little bit. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day. Okay.